Afghan Australians watch on as distressing scenes unfold in their homeland. The community, made up of many different ethnic groups, has seen the situation escalate over recent months with no way to control it. When we see pictures on TV now, like it's an attack to our identity, to our dignity, to our pride, specifically taking um, down Afghan national flag is such an intrusive and in deep pain for many Afghans. Noreya Meharabi fled to Australia with her husband and young children almost 30 years ago. She says she's barely slept for the past few days, shocked and hurt by what's happening in her homeland. The mental health clinician is worried for her community as they can't seek solace together. If it was normal circumstances, people would have gathered, they would have prayed together, they would have shared food, they would have cried together, they would have talked together. Um, uh, but at these circumstances, it's not possible. Specialist Service Starts is reporting a 50% increase in stress among Afghan clients since American troops began their withdrawal in May. What we've seen is, is almost a doubling of suicidal ideation from 3 to 6%, a doubling of people with uh, severe anxiety, uh, you know, from uh, close to 30% to, to close to 70%. And, 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 and that is something that we, we haven't seen before. And there are fears the Taliban takeover this week has only worsened feelings of post-traumatic stress and survivors' guilt. Combined with the lockdown in New South Wales and Victoria, it's been called the perfect storm for mental stress. There's a lot of triggers at the moment. Uh, of course, uh, seeing the situation in the news, uh, also living in a, in, 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 in a context which in many ways resembles, you know, situations they've gone through, is a constant reminder. Those who've lived through it have grown weary. It's over four decades of war and misery in Afghanistan, and Afghans are lost and exhausted, to be honest. They just want peace. Lucy Murray, SBS World News. And if this story or any others in tonight's bulletin have raised any issues for you, help is available at Lifeline on this number, 13 11 14, or visit starts.org.au.